It's been a little hectic start, everybody, but you know what? It wouldn't be a hump day if there wasn't some breaking news. Right, the very first thing that I want to dive right into is I want to talk about Squid Games. It's like one second, because Squid Games out. We know we talked about the challenge. It's out there on Netflix. Well, it's number one right now for television. Number one. Can you believe that shit? It, it's. I mean, I started watching it, and of course, it looks okay. But then you're adding the reality Stupid. mix in there. I know you add the reality. It's like now they're voting people off the island or voting people out of the Squid Game, and they're like going against each other. Like we get a burger, or we get actually vote off this bitch over here, and there's one less person, more money in the pot. I mean, to me, it gets kind of like convoluted, and it's like losing what the whole game is but for netflix it's a huge win just like leo's a huge win for netflix too adam sandler's new animated movie which is the number one most watched animated movie on netflix ever and i put this on and it starts and you think that oh it's gonna be this you know goofy little you know lizard movie and they start singing and i'm like i was not expecting singing wasn't expecting it and adam sandler's like oh you got to don't do it and, you know his whole oh, voice boy. saying like i don't know if it works too well with the singing i'm just saying but 34.6 million people watch this so in this opening week so wow. i mean that's pretty great it beat David Fincher's uh, The Killer. So, I mean, honestly, Netflix is doing well with this animated person. Not as cool as Looney Tunes, though, but Looney Tunes are having a lot of issues, too, over there at Max because HBO has issues with uh, taking it down. They apparently took down a lot of the uh, the content from the Looney Tunes, and people, the fans, are going nuts online. They already lost, like, the, the from 15 to 31. Those seasons are gone. Over 250 episodes taken down. And then they were talking about taking down the rest of them, and there was all this backlash online. People were like, don't take away our Looney Tunes. Well, they're not going to do it now they said it was a removal error it wasn't going to happen even though it was on their official listing of things that are be gone so looney tunes shows and stick around looney tunes uh their whole historical shorts and stick around but looney tunes back in action will be gone and warner brothers is getting a lot of backlash from that but they're also getting a lot of backlash about oppenheimer because they're out of dvds they're out of dvds I, I don't know how this is even a thing but people are going nuts trying to buy this on 4k and apparently they ran out of DVDs. And Universal Pictures, along with WWE, they're like, come forward, we're trying to, we're trying to work on our replenishing our, our, our DVD sales so it gets out there so you can actually get Oppenheimer in time for the holidays. You can buy it for your friends and your family and your, all those people out there, uncles, your aunts, your grandmas, your grandpas, all of them, and they're trying to push it. And there's actually some online, the uh, Steel Special Edition one, Steel Case, are selling for 200 bucks a pop because of this, so, whoo. But WB needs a win. And, uh, you know, uh, Universal needs a win, too, but WB definitely needs a win. They're not going to get it with Aquaman. It doesn't look like it, because Aquaman 2 is looking to lose a lot of money. Oh, honestly, God. I'm sorry, Goldie. They spent $205 million bucks on this, and they're projected to get 32 to $42 million opening weekend. That's not good. It's not good. Overall, they're expecting $105 million to $168 million. Overall, it's all run. That's what they're projecting at a $205 million budget. It's a huge loss. The original one made $1 billion worldwide. So, I mean, you got to top that, and they're definitely not going to, unfortunately, because people apparently don't want to see Jason Momoa under the sea, but they do want to see James Cameron's avatars under the sea because it's coming back for a third one, and James Cameron finally said the release. He's saying Christmas 2025, and he's going to be working on that for the next two years everybody two years gets together put it out there and finish all the special effects and make uh the final well the, the next avatar you know junction into this whole franchise because we have a bunch more happening we have like three more after that so get used to it get used to blue people because also kelsey grammar is going to come back and be beast some more everybody kelsey grammar said this he goes guys i was beast in the marvels i'm excited to bring him back he said i would love to do more i've always wanted to play him again and he said it's an extraordinary character and a character that has gravitas and importance to our our culture which i'm like beast uh, okay but he said that he if he has his jewelers he's coming back but he does say that he has certain amount of confidence that beast will be back just like he has a confidence that fraser will be back 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 again for a second season of the revival because right now they're working on writing the scripts for the second season him and the writers going through it trying to figure out what's going to happen next but you're going to get a part two of fraser the reboot and he says that they have great ideas pretty much about he wants to have fraser finally get to a spot where he's helping out another person becoming a better person at the long run he said but mostly revolve around fraser finding happiness and becoming a good father and having a breakthrough in college so he's been teaching there not a psychiatrist anymore on the radio waves but someone that probably needs a psychiatrist is tom hardy's venom because he's battled himself constantly but they're going back to set going back to set venom 3 is going to start shooting again and tom hardy said the last dance he's thankful to be back to shooting and if you're excited about that as a lot of people are i hope it does well 
I like the first one. Second one, eh, it was all right. But I love Tom Hardy in this role. And I feel like he needs a chance to keep going. But somebody that is not getting a chance to keep going, at least the brakes are hitting pumped a little bit, is Sean Combs. Because, again, more allegations came for everybody. More allegations. Of course, there was the allegations of abuse and sexual assault from his ex-girlfriend, Cassandra, who said that she was literally, like, pimping her out and soliciting her for sex and threatening her life for years and then blowing up her boyfriend's car after they broke up to the fact this other girl came forward that said that she drug or he drugged her and then took a video of it and showed all of his friends of him raping her to a new girl coming forward, say a Jane Doe saying that him and Aaron Hall, another R&B singer, took turns raping her wow. at his friend's apartment. So, yeah. A lot Fantastic. Of Fantastic. A lot of breaking news. But to me, I'm like, happy hump day. Uh, happy hump day. Uh, the second Good one to land on lot. there, Brian. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's that's a, a lot. Game. It's Keep a it lot. Humpy. Oh, wait, no. That's, I didn't mean that. No, yeah, don't, 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 don't hump you want. Do not. This is hashtag don't hump that up.